Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto and I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And today we are reacting to and breaking down a couple of new tracks from the Lucky Ones Deluxe version from Pentatonix. We are checking out Easy Love, which is the 13th track in the album EP, whatever you, I guess it's an album, not an EP. Uh, we're going to check out the rest of them. So stay tuned if you want to follow along. We'll go through the ones that have not been, uh, I have not broken down because I've broken down the entire album back when it came out. And when did it come out? Back in, I feel like it was like, yeah, it was like February. I was going to say January but it's February. Uh, so this is Easy Love. If you want to check out the rest of the stuff on the channel, it mean a ton to me. If you want to check out my music, it also mean a lot. And also consider checking out the Instagram. I've been able to get a lot of really cool interviews through Instagram, actually, just through the Instagram DM, like, for example, uh, Ed Boyer and Ben Brams and stuff like the, the, that work with Pentatonix pretty often. So if you want to help me continue to grow that platform, it'd be tremendous help in getting some more interviews. Let's see what we got. This is Easy Love. You hear that pitch bend going on, like a modulation? That's cool. I used to be emotional with the ups and downs to make you well right now. I couldn't see That's cool. a little. I couldn't breathe a little. All right, let's talk about this because this is really, really interesting. So we have some, obviously, some vocal style pads going on, like these like vocal oohs and ahs and doos and dahs and stuff. And what we have is you can hear the slight modulation in pitch. So modulation is another, I guess, term for like movement, I guess would be a good example. And you can hear it actually sliding up and down, like do like that's typically like something like a chorus effect where it's detuning it a little bit. Really, really, really cool effect. Obviously we have some, a big reverb um, and then we have some echo on, on the main vocals in the center. We also have some high pass filtered uh, drums coming in. So like well, the higher mid range frequencies are coming through where the low end frequencies are not coming through as much. Let's rewind it just a little. See? I couldn't breathe a little. I feel like Scott's voice is a little processed in this. I couldn't see a little. Because I think it has this like more like auto tune kind of like like futuristic style vocal. Um, and I, I actually like when it's just more of like the raw style vocal on the main vocalist. Um, and, and but I like the, the effects on the sides. This is my personal opinion. Oh, it friends, I couldn't see a little. They never let me breathe a little, but you nice, huh? came around, show me what Dude, love's that. about. There it is. Thought I never want to settle down, but with you, I do. Wish see. I knew. Okay, now that the drum, let me pause really quick because now that the drums are coming, I actually like the vocal processing. It, it actually gives this really cool pop style effect to it um, with this one and two and one and two and kind of drums coming in, like this bouncy kind of movement to it. It's a little bit, it feels like a little bit of side chain, which is when it's a bit of pulsing coming through the music. This is cool. Dude, mass bass is sweet. That's mad catchy. That's catchy. So I like that it's a super simple lyrical chorus, but the melody is what keeps it interesting. I think that those are harder to write. I typically don't write music like that, and I think it's something I want to start getting more into, where it's like this more simple style chorus. Like, it's all they're saying is, uh, I got the easy love, right? That's the, just the whole chorus right there, but it's like, because of the melody change, it, cre it creates the dynamic interest that you typically would have in a chorus. I like that. It's catchy, too. I like that. I used to lay awake at night thinking, oh my God, this love ain't right. I couldn't breathe a little. Ad-libs coming in hard. Cause we're too busy running on every feeling. Oh no, it's true. You came around, show me you were love's about. Thought I never wanna settle down. But with you, I tight harmony, man. Wish I knew from the start. Love this good, don't fall apart. Giving up would be the hardest part. Cause with you, I Oh, nice. This is not a machine gun style kick in my name. Oh, I'm gonna really play. Right there. Right. Very chill style. Yeah, synth sound coming through in the background. That is cool, man. The do 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 do. Ooh, 
nice distant far background style harmony. Almost creating actual distance. Yeah. That's one of the first things you actually heard harmonies like the, in the, in that vocal ooze and ahs, the love's about kind of part right there. That was actually really cool. Everything else has been like kind of ooze and ahs and stuff. Show me what love's about. Thought I never Walk wanna down. settle down. But who you I know wish I knew from the sky. Love is good won't fall oh, apart. Oh man, the harmony is so wild. Be the Cause we you have got Yeah, man. Dude, this is a great song, man. See that harmony back there? It it's actually sounds like it's actually pretty distant in the vocals, which is wild. Um, it almost typically how you could do that is probably through reverb, creating an actual. All right, so we're gonna get technical for a sec. You would actually create have the reverb but actually have a delay in the reverb so it actually makes it sound like it's farther away than the actual reverb. It's it's a very technical aspect but it's really interesting. I think it's done through something called pre-delay. I got that easy, easy, easy love. Dude, that was killer, man. I really like these. I really like these. I wonder why they're releasing now like seven months later, eight months later as a, as a deluxe. Part of me feels like it's, a, it's another way to kind of promote the album and kind of extend the life of the album which i appreciate i appreciate when artists do that i, I don't like when artists will just release an album and that's it like you, you don't hear from them for another two years like i like that when they extend the life of it push the album you know do different versions of it i think it's cool so hope you guys enjoyed that i really enjoyed that myself i i, I think that they did a really really good job at it um really kind of pop feel to it man like if you didn't know it was pentatonics with only vocals um now this one sounds definitely like it's a lot more just only vocals i'm curious you know midnight in, in tokyo i don't know man a lot of the comments were split um and there was a lot of people leaning towards more just vocals but i i don't know i and not that not that it matters i'm just i find it interesting i just as a producer i find it and somebody that makes my own music i find i'm just curious what they do uh because I, I just want to know how, how people make things so um if they decide to use our instruments or they don't i don't i personally don't care i just i want to he hear good music and and figure out how they make the new music so I'd love to know if you guys have some actual answers or facts. I'd love to know. If you want to check out my Instagram, it would mean a ton to me. And check out my new song with Brad Steele. If you have not checked it out, it's coming out soon. I, depending on when I post this, it's called Let Em Roll. Music video for it coming soon for it too. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. God bless and peace out.